What is up, YouTube? It is the Villa Outdoors here. Today is May 18th of 2022. I am here at a creek I have never fished before. This is Hay Creek. So we're gonna try and fish this today. After the storm that passed through on Monday, it didn't rain for too long, but it dumped a good amount of water in a short amount of time. So the creeks are definitely muddy. I was planning on going to the Topplehawken Creek today, but the stream gauge is way over what it should be. So we went to a smaller tributary of the Schuylkill River, that being the Hay Creek that lies in front of us. And we're gonna see if we can catch some fish here despite the faster moving, darker colored water. And of course I were to get snagged on my first cast, that would be fitting. Um, yeah, so we're gonna try and catch some fish here today. If we're gonna catch fish, I don't know. Never been here, don't know what to expect. And the water conditions aren't exactly perfect. But we're gonna try casting around the trout magnet to start. Some of these deeper pools and current runs. I'm using a black trout magnet to try and contrast this darker murky water. So we'll see if we can find any fish today. There's potential for some wild trout to show up today. But like I said, we'll see. All right guys, we got this hole in front of this tree and I just saw some fish go after the trout menu. So I'm gonna try drifting around in there again. See if I can strike. There was one, there was a strike. Very, very light tap. Could have been a fall fish for all I know, but it was something. Guys, trout on, trout on. Guys, I don't know how much you saw that, but I just got this nice brook trout out of this hole in front of me. I knew there was one gonna be over there. Whew. All right, so it's not a wasted trip. At least got one solid trout on the board. This is stocky for sure. Gotta take a shot and release this guy. First trout at Hay Creek. All right guys, just wet our hands, time to release this guy. Gonna try and get a hand on him. There he is guys. Nice brookie there. Gonna go ahead and release him. There he goes, beautiful brook trout. Came right out of this hole in front of me at the base of this tree. I knew there was gonna be one in there, for sure. Came on the black trout magnet with the gold jig head. Something nice and finesse because this is a heavily pressured creek. And I chose the black color to stick out in this muddy water. Get probably the, one of the easiest colors to see for him. Let's see if there's going to be another one in there. Guys, nice rainbow here. Nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. Come on. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Get in the neck. Yes, that is my personal best rainbow trout right there. Look at the size of that dude, that is an absolute football. Holy crap. I was sight fishing this guy out of the hole in front of me. I saw him moving around in there. That is the most abnormal stalker I've ever seen. His tail is probably two inches long. 
but the rest of them is absolutely mutant. Look at that thing. What is that? It looks like a brick. All right, guys, I got our mutant stalker unhooked here. He is so fat, I can't even get a hand around him to release him. So I'm just gonna try and dip my net in the water to get him out of there. There he is. There he goes. That is the most weird looking stocked fish I have ever encountered. That thing was big and it was a football. A straight up brick. And it was just sitting in this hole here, right underneath this branch. I saw it swim back there and I was just kept drifting my trout magnet by it like three or four times and then boosh hit it like a truck and we were just able to keep them on long enough to to get them in the net but two quality fish to to start our outing on Hay Creek and despite the water not being up to our standards we're catching some decent fish out here. Can't complain one bit. Even if those are the only two trout we catch all day, two very quality fish, and I will take that. Trick I'm using here to find these fish. Sun is out. This creek has lots of shade along the banks. So what we're doing is just looking for these overhangs, these little brush piles right up against the bank, make nice natural cover for these trout during the day. So they're gonna sit back in these holes underneath this brush and just try and avoid any predators that are around, like any herons, birds, stuff like that. And they tuck away in these holes that way they can't be seen and then when food passes by them they come out and they grab it real quick and that's exactly what happened with those last two fish found a couple deep holes one at the base of a tree and one at the base of some brush overhanging the bank and we drift our trout magnet upstream to downstream so we cast upwards of the hole let it drift into the hole. That way it gets down deep enough to where these fish would hang out at. And then pretty much like clockwork, if there's one in there, they're gonna at least gain interest in it. They might not bite right away, but they might show themselves. And at that point, you know you can make a couple more drifts and you might, you might have them. This looks like another good hole here probably one somewhere in there even though if we can't see them. Really good looking hole here. I just had another fish come out and crush the trout magnet but he didn't get the full full hook. Just got the, the little sampler splatter and left me. Let's see if I'll find him again. He bit like right where my line's at right there. Mm. Nope. That's a fish. That's a fish. No, he popped off. Dang it. I'm liking this place. Just something about exploring new spots is, is just more fun than fishing spots, you know, even, even though you might not be catching as much. Just something about it has like a certain level of excitement because you don't know really what to expect. Fish on, fish on. It's pulling me upstream, it's pulling me upstream. Oh God, oh God, stay on, stay on, stay on. 
stay on. It is not happy. It is not a happy fish. I can't even attempt to go here. It's a nice, nice fish. Oh God, we got him. Another quality trout on the Hay Creek. Whew. Look at that chonker. Whew, I like that one. That's a fat fish too. All right guys, I wet my hands. Time to release this big fella. Look at him. Size of that dude. Beautiful looking fish. Let's go ahead and release him back in the current where he came from. Oh yeah. That fish was ready. Put up a great fight too. So far, all three of these fish have been pretty quality for what I'm used to catching. A lot more size to them than the stockers we were catching on the French Creek in one of my previous videos. That would be, I think, two videos back now. That video is actually going live tonight, the 18th of May. And then I have another one that will be up on Friday, which would be the 20th. This will probably be up next Wednesday. The goal is to try and get two videos a week for the summer, if possible. Now weeks where it might be super rainy or stuff like that and I don't have a chance to fish, we might not get two videos, but two videos is the goal. Two videos a week, and hopefully two quality videos at that. Quite a ways. Um, I've gotten some bites in some, some various holes, but haven't had a whole lot of action um, since that last trout I caught. Might walk down a little bit further and scope out the scene, but I don't know how much farther we're gonna walk down. I might head back up and start walking the other way a little bit with the time that I have. But I'm gonna look down past these bridges. If it looks good, I might continue walking. But we'll, we'll see. Guys, fish on, fish on. Another brookie. Another decent brookie at that. Let's see if we can get him up here. Get in the net, you fool. Almost there. Almost there. Oh. In the net, yes. Whoo! There he is. It doesn't look quite as fat as the fish from earlier, so I don't believe it's the same fish, but it came out of the same hole that we caught our third fish at. Nice solid brookie. We're gonna take a shot and release this guy. All right, I just wet my hands. Time to release this fish here. Kind of right through the nostril. There we go, hook is out. Another solid, solid brook trout there. Go ahead and release him back in the water here. Perfect. It's hanging out right on our feet before we get the bearing straight. That one came on the classic gold trout magnet. One of my favorite color patterns to use. He almost hit on the drop. Very, very nice. I was on my way back up to where I parked my car. I was gonna take a drink of my water that I left in there before I continue walking upstream. But I figured I'd um, test some of the holes out that we fished earlier, see if there was anything in there. 
There you go, guys. Another one on. He's digging. Let's see if we can get him in the net here. Oh. No, oh, almost had him. Got him. Another solid one there. Beautiful brookies we're catching today. Love it. Fish on, fish on. It's another brook trout, if we can get them up here. There he is, and the net he goes. Slightly smaller than some of the ones we've been catching, but we'll take it, we'll take it. Our sixth trout of the day. Uh, this big deep pool here. Got him on the pink and purple trout magnet. All right, we wet our hands. Gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Not a bad one. Got him right on the roof of the mouth. There we go, hook is out. There's our brook trout. He's gonna go back in the water here. There he is, good to go. So as you can see, we got this real deep, deep hole in front of us here. So I was casting the trout magnet out into the abyss, casting way upstream and letting it drift downstream, hoping it can get as much depth as possible. And luckily we were able to get one. I didn't even really feel the bite. I was just coming up for, to retrieve it. And apparently there's a brook trout on there, which we'll definitely take. All right, guys, the creek's getting a lot skinnier up this way. I might fish a little bit up farther because this looks like more wild trouty waters than stock trout waters. So I'm gonna see if I can find any wilds in here. Apparently there's some somewhere from what I've heard, unless I'm fishing the totally wrong end for the wilds, but we're going to see if we can pull one of those out of here or maybe some other fish. And then we're going to get out of here. It's closing in on the afternoon hours. I think I just saw a fish over there. Closing in on the afternoon hours and the bite's going to continue to die down. So we're going to give it some casts in some of these holes that look fishy. And we're going to see if we can um, produce some fish out of the holes that look fishy. All right, guys, probably made it to our last hole of the day right here. We're gonna fish this, cause this looks pretty good. And then we are probably gonna be out of here. Just about 11 o'clock. So by the time we fish this, it'll probably be close to 12. And then it'll be lunchtime. And we still got 40 minutes or so until we get back home. Plus the walk back to the car. But we're gonna see if we can um, find any fish in this hole here. And if not, then that'll do it for today. The water is clearer than I thought it was going to be. This morning when I first got here, it looked awfully muddy still, but I think that was just because of the sun not being fully up at that point. But, um, Water doesn't look too bad, so. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We ended up catching six trout, six quality trout, if I do say. Um, all came up on the trout magnet. The main pattern of the day was just trying to fish um, any deeper holes or deeper current runs and just casting the trout magnet upstream from those holes and letting it drift down into the hole, getting that depth and any hungry trout were willing to eat it. We pretty much just fished it like you would any type of nymph on a fly rod. For those of you who are familiar with um, fly fishing, the only difference is we weren't using a bobber or indicator. Um, but yeah, it worked out pretty well with us. Caught possibly my personal best rainbow trout. It wasn't as long as some of the rainbow trout I've caught in the past, but I could not fit my hand around this thing, how much girth it had. Um, yeah, and a couple quality brook trout too. Not my personal best for those, but 
still all pretty decent sized ones 15 16 inches so yeah good day all in all first time fishing the hay creek went very well in my opinion if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one as it gets closer to the summer we'll be doing probably some more multi-species fishing more bass fishing stuff of that nature but while the water temperatures are still cool enough we're going to try and get as much trout fishing done as we can before it's pretty much gone for the summer but yeah That'll do it for today, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Ville Outdoors.